Number seven. Don't feel stressed about fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Clues Vegans. Uh, today we're going to be telling you what we think are some do's and don'ts for beginner vegans. When you're first going vegan, it might seem a bit challenging uh, because you don't know how long you could maybe maintain the lifestyle or how this will affect your life. So that's why we're here because I know when I was first going vegan, I literally had no one to help me, no one supporting my decision. Um, I was frankly all alone and I couldn't even think of the, anybody trying to help me or... Um, what about me? Oh yeah, she, she was there as well. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah helped me. No respect. Just kidding, Sarah. She was very helpful with my whole transitioning to veganism and it is a lot easier having someone there for you. But in case you don't, here's where we come in. Without further ado, here are our 10 do's and don'ts for when you're first going vegan. Number one, don't start immediately buying a bunch of new vegan stuff. I know when I first went vegan, I went to my nearest grocery store and started buying up the joint. I got a bunch of shampoo, body wash, uh, vegan beard balm oil, uh, hand soap, plus all the food. It was like a hundred dollar haul. And honestly, don't feel pressured to do that right away. You know, you want to ease into this because maybe you don't have uh, the financial security to do all that. And also it's a bit wasteful just to scrap everything all at once. You want to make this whole, you know, change a gradual one. Ah! What are you doing? Um, I can explain. Uh, I sort of just spent our rent money on vegan stuff. You what? Number two. When you first go vegan, or even after you go vegan, you do want to do your research. Um, it's going to be, even though you, it might be easier to just wing it, it's going to be a lot easier in the long run if you look up some things first. For one, it might be helpful for you to plan out your meals in advance so you don't kind of lose heart as you're going into it. Um, and I think another really good thing to do research on is the reason that you went vegan in the first place. Um, so whether that be your health, the environment, or the ethics, um, there are tons of good resources out there for learning more and being able to uh, support yourself if people ask you questions. So I know I did a ton of research um, when I first went vegan. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, Mike the Vegan is an awesome science-based YouTuber who looks at articles to support all kinds of things. Um, and then you can also read books, watch documentaries, there's some good ones on Netflix even. But all of that will really help you to stay strong in your beliefs and also, like I said, just to be able to support yourself if questions come up. Hey, what are you doing? I'm researching vegan fats. Oh, well, it's been about like 10 hours now and I'm just getting worried. Vegans spare the lives of about 30 animals each year. Being vegan cuts their carbon footprint in half. Vegans live longer. Vegans are less likely to die from heart disease. Let's get you to bed. Don't touch me! <laughs> Number three, don't feel bad if your friends or family don't understand why you're going vegan. I know when I first started out, um, it was a bit uh, hard for my parents and my family to understand um, my whole transition just because you know we grew up around pork, chicken, uh, cheese and beef and all this other stuff and from a cultural standpoint they just they couldn't get it but don't feel bad, don't feel pressured, don't feel like you're letting your family down because you're your own person you know it's okay to be independent from your family and separate their values from your own Hey, mom, it's, it's your son. Your son, Eric? Anyways, guess what? I'm vegan now. No, no, it's not because my girlfriend's vegan. It's not the same as a vegetarian, mom. No. It's, it's not a phase. Number four, eat what you want. 
um, just because you're going vegan, it doesn't mean that you have to be healthy. Um, so if you want to eat that so delicious ice cream or a Beyond Burger with some fake bacon and cheese on it, go for it. I mean, no one's telling you that you have to eat healthy or that you're not less of a vegan because um, you're eating junk food and stuff like that. And a lot of the times when you're transitioning from a typical American diet, it's going to just be a lot easier if you eat some of that junk food when you have cravings or eat fake meats and stuff like that. I mean, here I am um, two years, over two years after I went um, vegan and I'm still eating the same stuff a good portion of the time that I was two years ago um, as far as vegan junk food goes. So don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Enjoy the food that you eat. Hello, my name is Sebastian. Welcome to the Vegasm restaurant. I'm here to satisfy your needs. How may I service you today? Oh uh, yeah, I would like to have the triple Beyond Burger please um, and throw some bacon on there as well as extra cheese. Um, for this side, I think that I would like the loaded chili cheese fries. Um, really make sure that that is loaded. Uh, and I think I'd like an extra side as well. I hear you have really good pizza so I just want one slice of that. And then I think for dessert, I will have the largest size of uh, strawberry milkshake that you have with the soy-based ice cream. Very well then. Um, and to drink? Just water, thanks. Number five, don't feel like you're giving up anything. So obviously when you, you know, eat the foods that you love, it creates a wonderful feeling. And for some people who might be a little hesitant to go vegan, might feel like that they will never, you know, acquire that feeling again but what I've learned is anything can be veganized and you can you know find other foods that creates that same tasty feeling again I know Sarah had mentioned Beyond Burgers and for me personally when I went vegan I found out that I could no longer eat flaming Hot Cheetos which was a bit devastating but eventually I found a replacement for that and now I can love again <laughs> I can't believe you're going vegan. You'll have to give up sausages, and you love sausages. Don't worry, Sarah, I got that covered. Cause now I can eat Beyond Meats, all new Beyond Sausages. Now with 30% less fat than your typical pork sausage. Who are you talking to? Number six is to get familiar with labels and ingredients. Um, yes, this is as boring as it sounds, but it's a really important part of um, kind of avoiding products in the store that might not be vegan um, and there's even some ingredients that you might not expect necessarily that will make something not vegan like whey, gelatin, even some vitamins and food dyes are made from animals or insects so you definitely want to be careful um, and if you accidentally buy something no big deal but still it's better to be safe than to be sorry and I'm telling you, even if something says that it's dairy-free or even vegan, you better be reading those ingredients anyway because they might be lying. Hmm, no milk, no eggs. Looks pretty safe to me. Wait! What are you doing? I'm saving your life. What are you talking about? There was honey in those ingredients. If you had read more closely, you would have known. Honey? Oh no! Remember kids, you want to make sure you're fully aware of all the ingredients that goes into your food. Be safe and read labels. Number seven. Don't feel stressed about the mistakes. So let's say you have a glass of water and it turns out it wasn't water, it was milk. Don't know how you get those two things mixed up, but hey, it's a mistake, it can happen. Don't feel bad about it. You're making a good decision right now just by transition, transitioning to veganism. So it's okay, mistakes happen. Just know that you're already doing the right thing by going vegan. Don't put yourself in, under that much pressure. It's okay, learn from your mistakes and try to do better the next time. <laughs> Eric, what's wrong? <laughs> ah! Oh, it's, it's you. Sarah, I, I made a big mistake. I went to Taco Bell and I asked for a Crunchwrap Supreme. 
with uh, fresco style and to replace the meat with beans. And uh, I bit into it and there was cheese. Oh, that's not so bad. It's not okay! Don't you understand? I broke vegan eggs! Number eight. Do talk about veganism in a civil and peaceful way. When you first go vegan, especially if you're doing it for ethics or the environment, you will more than likely feel pretty passionate about your decision. I know I did. And when you're passionate, it can be really easy to get into heated debates or arguments. But the fact is, that's just not going to be productive. Um, even, especially if you're arguing with family members or friends, everyone's just going to have their defenses up and no one's going to get anywhere. And that stereotype of crazy vegans is just going to be fed into a little bit. I learned some really great tips from Earthling Ed. He has a YouTube channel and he does a lot of um, vegan activism, so you might wanna check out his channel for some tips um, about how to talk about veganism. But at the end of the day, you just wanna be really respectful and get people to think about their decisions instead of telling them that they're wrong. If you vegans are so sacred about life, then why do you eat vegetables? I mean, plants have feelings too, you know. Uh, well, plants don't have a central nervous system, so they can't feel any pain. I don't care. I'm sure not going vegan. I mean, I just don't like being told what to do. Well, how do you think all those animals feel who don't have a choice in whether they, whether they live or die? Whoa. I never thought of it that way. Maybe I will go vegan. Good. So, like, do you want to go out sometime? Mm, no thanks. Number nine, don't judge others. Obviously, when you go vegan, it creates an empowering feeling just because you know you're doing something greater than yourself but also you the more you research the more you realize that yes there are some animals still being exploited by not only the food industry but other industries as well and that can create some anger and sometimes we might direct that anger outward to other people who are you know aren't vegans non-vegans and to me that only makes matters worse at the end of the day i think you're better off saying your piece telling people why you're vegan and if they accept that, that's great. If you know they, they don't want to change, then there's not much you can really do just because there are people that are more open to change than others. And it's hard to change people who don't want to change, change their lifestyle. Sarah, I can't be with you anymore. I can't stand being with someone who just lies around here eating animal products. I mean, you're responsible for thousands and millions of cows and other animals being slaughtered every day. It's your fault. I can't even look at you, you heartless woman. I, I was going to surprise you. I was going to try going vegan. Oh. I'll get an Uber. And finally, number 10. Do believe that a difference can be made. Um, as Eric was kind of talking about in the last point, it can be kind of hard when you're learning about all of the terrible things that kind of go on in the animal agriculture industry. And that can make a person really upset, especially when you're just one person and you might not feel like you can make much of a difference. Um, but there are ways beyond just going vegan that you can make a difference. And also just to feel better about everything. Um, you could always uh, volunteer for a farm animal sanctuary or just go visit one where they a lot of the times rehabilitate um, just farm animals, so like cows and pigs and stuff like that. Uh, you could also get into animal activism. There are lots of groups, at least in America, all across the United States, that you can get involved in. And then I would say the biggest thing that you as an individual can do is just to lead by example. You might not feel like things are changing as quickly as you would like them to, but even just over the two years that I have been vegan, I have seen an explosion in new vegan products and more people going vegan. And it's just more that you show people your vegan lifestyle. Uh, the people around you will begin to see how easy it is and then they might try it out for themselves. Well, that's it for all our do's and don'ts. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And we hope to see you for the next video. Later.